Hello to each one of you. Welcome back to this podcast. I am Dr. Mohit Singh and today we are going to talk about demography, demographic cycle, demographic trends, demographic variables, fertility indicators and so on. Today, 9th of September 2020, we are in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic. COVID-19 pandemic has touched almost every sector in our life. Be it the economy or finances or health or jobs, employment, whatever. You name it and the sector has been affected and so is demography. Before I take up this academic topic, I would like to address a small point. That is, what is the difference between knowledge and education? All those who are truly academic people, you can just skip over this small talk a few seconds long or a minute long. But I would really appreciate if you all listen to it. See, education is when you know things. Knowing an event or thing is what is education. You are made aware of that event. What is knowledge? Knowledge is when you know a thing and you understand the what, the why, the who and where and the when of that event. Education is like a light or a lamp which is kept on a table. So it will give light everywhere. It will disseminate its own energy and give light to all the people or all the things around. That is education. What is knowledge? Knowledge is also like a light or a lamp which is kept on a table. It's something like a self-glowing light. Education is exactly like a light which can be influenced by air, which can be influenced by weather, which can be influenced by many external factors. Your education may be influenced by your family background. It will be influenced by your college background. It will be influenced by your teachers, by so many principles. But knowledge is like a self-illuminating, a gem or a stone, which is not affected by any air or water or temperature or time of the day so try to take this knowledge rather than education try to understand the concept try to understand the what why where when of any event that will help you answer so many questions in your exam in your patient uh, in your patient career where you are working as a medical doctor or even in your life So let's get started and let's talk about demography. Let us first have a look on the demographic trends, that is the annual growth rate. Annual growth rate means how much population is growing every year. So in year 2018, it was roughly approximately 1.19. In 2019, it was almost same. It dropped down to 1.14 or 1.12. But right now, 2020, the data is out and it is less than 1.19, hovering between 1.05 and 1.1. So that means the annual growth rate has tried to decrease. That is a positive thing and a negative thing as well. Because why positive? Because of course the family size is going to decrease. But what is the negative in this? The negative is that if the annual growth rate decreases, that means the aging population will be faster. That means the demographic liabilities will start coming. Or in other words, the demographic gift will start decreasing faster. What is a demographic gift? Demographic gift is total number of economically productive population which is higher than the liabilities. Why do we have a higher economic productive population at the first place? We have a higher economic productive population because of very important high birth rates in the past. In the past we had higher birth rates which And those birth rates is today in the economically productive population age group. And that causes us to have an economic boom. So this boom is going to propel the country move forward, increase the GDP and so many things will happen. So this is what is a a demographic gift and it is maximally seen in stage 3. It is seen in stage 3, 4, 5. It is seen in almost all stages, the demographic gift but maximally it is seen in stage 3. Coming back to the annual growth rate, if the annual growth rate of any country is 1%, according to the Malthusian model, growth model, 
the annual growth rate one percent means that the country is going to double the population in seven zero seventy years and if the annual growth rate decreases less than one percent to less to let's say 0.5 percent that means it's a still slow growing population that means it will the country will double in 140 years so that's a standard malthusian models also coming to the types of age pyramid the age pyramids could be broadly classified into a broad base type age pyramid that means high fertilities or a broad belly type of age pyramid that is for developed countries and uh, again this broad belly is because of the demographic gift what do you mean by demographic gift that is the higher number of economically productive population and next is if we talk about what is dependency ratio dependency ratio is the ratio it is number of dependents divided by the number of independents so what are the dependents number of dependents are that is age group less than 14 years and age group more than 65 years that would be the numerator so what will be the denominator the denominator will be the population age group 15 to 64 years multiplied by 100 the young dependency population in india was approximately 40 percent and the old age dependency is approximately 10 percent so that means what is the total dependency population in india it's approximately 5050 percent if you talk about the sex ratios what do you mean by the sex ratio sex ratio is total number of females per thousand males so according to the nfhs4 data we had 936 adult sex ratio and 914 child sex ratio what is a child in a child sex ratio it is 0 to 6 years if we talk about the demographic stages there are five stages we all know stage 1 2 3 4 5 in the first stage there is high birth rate and a high death rate this causes a uh, almost a stable population and we don't have rapid increase or rapid decline in stage one that is high stationary phase of the population in stage two the birth rate is high but hallmark please remember that the death rate will start declining so if the death rate starts declining the birth rate is still high what does it mean it means that the population is going to expand and that's the reason it is called as early expanding stage in stage 3 it is late expanding the birth rate also starts decreasing that is the hallmark in stage 3 that the birth rate starts decreasing and the death rate again slowly declines which does cause an increase in population but mind you that the increase in population in stage 3 is lesser than the increase in population in stage 2 therefore the stage 3 is called as a late expanding population in stage 2 and 3 both the stages the population does expand it rapidly expands in stage 2 and lesser expands in stage 3 in stage 4 the the population increase still sto slows down further and we have almost a stable population with a slowly declining death rate and a slowly declining birth rate that is called as low stationary stage in stage 5 it is declining stage with a slowly declining birth rate and the hallmark is that the death rate cannot decline further it is at the lowest minimum possible level if you talk about the demographic gap that is the difference between the birth rate and the death rate please mind it that the demographic gap would start increasing in stage 2 i'll repeat it demographic gap starts increasing in stage 2 it starts decreasing in stage 3 it decreases decreases and decreases until it reaches the minimum point in stage 5 so please remember that stage 5 has a negative it can have a negative demographic gap or the lowest possible demographic gap just a few moments about the reproduction and the fertility rates if you talk about fertility rates we can have a gfr that is general fertility rate or we can have a tfr that is a total fertility rate what is the difference between them the general fertility rate is total number of live children a female is going to bear during her reproductive years that's it and what is a total fertility rate it is the total number of live children that is that a female is going to bear during her reproductive years assuming the current age specific fertility rates 
So please mind it that TFR is a refined indicator than GFR, that is general fertility rate. What is GRR and NRR? GRR is gross reproduction rate. NRR is net reproduction rate. So gross reproduction rate is total number of daughters born. So mind it, in fertility, we use the term live children. In reproduction rates, we use the term daughters. So GRR is the total number of daughters that, is, that a female is going to be a during her reproductive years, assuming the age specific fertility age. What is NRR? NRR is net reproduction rate that is the total number of daughters that is that a female is going to bear during her entire life assuming the age specific fertility rates and age specific death rates. Now mortality or counting the death rates is particularly important specifically for a female because there are chances of a female to not survive even till 15 years of age and henceforth we say that NRR is one of the best indicators for assessment of the national family planning program at the national level. A few MCQs over here. What is the target of NRR? The target of NRR is one, that is the replacement level. What is the best indicator at the grassroots level or the village level? We take that as the CPR. CPR is the couple protection rate. That is how many couples are given contraceptives. The best indicator at administrative level or the field indicator is TFR. Based on TFR, we actually divide the states in India into focus states, high focus states. If the TFR of a state is less than 2.1, it is called as non-focus states. If the TFR is 2.2 to 3, it is called as high focus states. And if it is more than 3, it is very high focus states. The very high focus states in India are Bihar. Uttar Pradesh, Meghalaya. TFR gives us a proxy indicator of the complete family size. NRR is one of the most refined indicators. The crude birth rate and the crude death rate, if you talk, crude birth rate is live births divided by the mid year population. MCQ over here, the mid year population is the population calculated on 30th June and 1st July midnight at 00, .00, .00 hours. Crude death rate is number of deaths in an area divided by the mid-year population into 1000. So with that, I'd like to thank you for listening to this audio podcast. Wish you all the very best and have a nice day ahead.